All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It's time for a review of this fixed blade I purchased a little while ago from the Griffin Company. This is the X Series fixed blade. Let's take a look for sure right off the bat. Uh, I got the one, and we'll talk more about why I got what I got. I got the uh, MagnaCut in um, Stonewash and the G car g mascus wow uh so g10 basically uh we'll go into it more here in just a moment uh but guys welcome and thank you for being here um again purchased this one and really are uh, yeah, glad to have it here uh, to check out now it comes uh with this kydex taco style sheath with a really nice finger uh thumb indention here and you can see it's got good retention pops off real well no uh, movement whatsoever. Very, very nicely done uh, indeed. Now, uh, it came with this guy installed, which is like a belt loop. Um, came installed like such. Um, and it's just not my preference to have to feed my belt through that every day. And, and also, you guys know, uh, now this is a little bit better because of the way it rides. I just don't like having a lot of handle, but sticking up. But this would actually have worked uh, just not my preference indeed. Now, it did come with two other options inside. Uh, came with what looks like a pocket clip. Uh, I did have a hard time sort of getting this open. Um, you can see there it is very stiff and not a lot of room to get sort of your pocket down in there. I think that's what this is. Uh, didn't really work for me. And then it came with uh, a chain uh, to wear it as a neck knife, which with that retention would work really well. But you guys know my preference is always uh, the uh, soft loop. I'm carrying it on a single soft loop on my belt, Scout Carry Appendix, uh, and it works very well for me. We do have a drain hole down here, really nicely uh, done overall. Now, these are made uh, by Best Tech for Griffin Company. Um, and I'm pretty impressed overall with the build and the fit and the finish. Now, what we have is a full tank construction. Uh, we do have a milled out uh, lanyard hole down here, kind of a lanyard slot. in. It's in the um, tang and then milled down through the G10. Now, um, we'll talk more about what's available and what's not and what options there were. Now, there's a little jimping here there's jimping out here uh now we have flat scales but we have hefty chamfers we have a chamfer right here and we have a big chamfer all the way across the back that makes this feel contoured now uh your main grip is right in this uh finger slot and down here and in front of or on like this that back now that's how i carry it uh, like that with my pinky resting there, thumbs right up here. Um, not really sure why we have a kind of a thumb, a, a slot here, except for the fact that this is also a folder. He has a, Keith Griffin of Griffin Knife Company has a folder uh, with this pretty much same look. So he wanted, I guess, the tie-in between the two. Uh, I do like the jimping down here, and I do actually like that that sticks out because now you have a place to choke up and come up a little bit further to the end of that jimping. Now, for me, I am landing half on the jimping and half on the flat, which doesn't bother me. Very nice, uh, very, very nice drop point, but you could almost make the case that it's a spear point. Deep hollow grind. Uh, very nicely done. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Great sharpening choil, hard plunge, works out really, really well. Um, ergonomically, guys, this thing is wonderful. Feels really good in the hammer grip, in this grip, in the choked up grip. My preferred grip is this backed up grip in this finger slot. Um, and again, it's not very big. It's like seven inches and it works really really well now this particular one whoops i got the wrong card uh here you go griffin x series fixed blade and you can look at this it is seven inches overall with a blade length of 2.85 inches as far as the cutting edge four inch handle um the blade thickness is 0.118 which is amazing handle thickness uh 0.384 so it's very thin um 
and uh, overall weight for the standard version, 1.875 in G10, and uh, which is what this is, of course. Drop point, titanium T8 hardware, and a hidden lanyard slot. Really, really cool uh, indeed. Um, uh, now, these run $230 for this version, um, plus you got um, a chunk for shipping. I think it came up to like $241 or $242 because these, if you order them from Griffin, they're coming from Canada. And it took a bit for it to get here. Um, they are available at Blade and Beam. They are available at, um, I think I saw, where was the other place I saw them? Uh, maybe Knife Center or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't remember. But uh, definitely available at Blade and Beam uh, and uh, also at the Griffin Company. So uh, now when they first came out, there were titanium versions. I think those are all gone. There are plenty of micarta versions. One of the things that's really cool about what he did here, he gave you several versions of mounting. He gave you a bunch of different, like there's a black wash version. There's a stone wash version. There's a satin version. Um, there's many handle materials. There's black G10. There's this G Mascus. There's um, plenty of different micartas. Um, there was brass. I don't know if those are still available. Uh, there was Ultim. Um, really, really cool. I'll leave some links down below so you can see. I'll leave a Griffin link and a Blade and Beam link. Uh, I do not have a discount or an affiliate link for either of those places, but I will leave what I have down below. Now, uh, it does have a very nice tip. You can see punctures pretty well. Um, and guys, it is just a fantastic cutter. This would be a great EDC knife, which is what I've been using it for. But for me, uh, this guy would shine camping. It really, really would. Uh, to me, this would be a fantastic like camp food prep knife. Um, any of those things, by the way, great pinch grip as well. Very nice. Normal comparisons look something, whoops, drop the box on the floor. Uh, like this, here is your Ontario Rat 1. And, of course, your Ontario Rat 2, which is going to be roughly uh, the same size. But the Rat 1 is quite bigger, as you can see here. And then, of course, um, because it's my design and it's readily available, we'll do a comparison with the Tempest uh, designed Kubi Dust Devil. Now, obviously, uh, these are going to be similar in a lot of ways. Uh, exact same length, um, different blade shape. Uh, thickness is very similar. Of course, this one's very premium. This is Magna Cut, um, and this is uh, 14C28N. Uh, so pick your poison. Obviously, uh, the Dust Devil also has slightly contoured scales. Um, now, uh, there is your comparison there, and I think it's actually a very useful comparison for the title of the video. One of the things I put in there was, is it worth it? Um, and, you know, that's up to you. A lot of people, Magna Cut, and I actually uh, started a firestorm in our group today, is Magna Cut worth the price in a, in a group. And, you know, for, for um, edge retention, for toughness, again, now that we have this hollow grind, um, I think, um, you know, this is going to be a good choice with the Magna Cut because of the toughness. It's not going to chip out or have those issues uh, because we are ultra thin. Obviously, the Dust Devil is is a, uh, a flat grind and it's much thicker. So this is going to give you that sliciness. And then you've got a re more refined handle and a really cool lanyard hole. Um, it just more refined overall. And again, if you like my Carta, uh, you have some really cool options there. Uh, indeed. So again, best tech, you're always going to pay a little bit more um, I, I would love to have seen this knife below $200 um, as a production knife from China. Um, you know, I, I'm not complaining, though. I bought it. I love it. I will carry it. I will use it uh, if I don't sell it because um, i got to keep selling stuff to bring more in. But I really like it. And again, um, it, it just feels great in the hand. The ergonomics are absolutely amazing. The cutting performance is is really nice. I'm impressed with it overall. Um, am I going to answer my own question? Is it worth it? 
I think so. I think it definitely is. It's it's kind of an up a notch thing with that Magna Cut with the like I said more refined handle. Um, and I think it definitely is, but it's really up to you and your use and your carry. So I would love to hear your answer down below. Uh, is it worth it? What do you think? Um, I would love to hear uh, your perspective on this one. So guys, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate each and every one of you and all your support. Um, definitely let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. The Knives Fast channel.